Hey everyone, Mayhem coming to you live from the Discord dimension where today I am so doing something different from the normal Mayhem's a question reviews. Well, I've uh, been thinking for a while and I used to always wonder how do you make a decent OC? And now that I have one, I thought I would share my knowledge into others. Eh, with others. Now, there's several steps. This is for a basic person that cannot do art. Yes, it involves Pony Creator by General Zoe, uh, but that's not the entire thing. There's also many customizations, uh, as you can see, because as you can see, I, uh, a pony like me could not be created in General Zoe's Pony Creator. So let's get right into it. Step one, the basics. Now, with the basics, you want to create a OC, of course, in the General Zoe's po Pony Creator. Uh, link down in the description below or just type in General Zoy Pony Creator and you will find it. Uh, so how would you do this? Well you can do many different things with this creator. Uh, this is for example this is the body section. You can choose body patterns on you, uh, hoof patterns, wings, etc. You can use a horn and you can do crazy stuff like this and it allows you to customize everything from color etc and so forth and look what I just created I actually quite like this I just randomly threw together pieces and then I end up making something quite weird but after a lot of work you can create something pretty good like for example I uh, this is the base that I originally used uh, boop and this is the basis for mayhem so this is the basis of what I am and so this is step one. Then uh, you may be wondering how I got it to look like this, to look how I look today. The eyes are completely off. There's no cutie mark. There's many differences. And that leads us on to step two. This step implies getting all of your assets together because one of the most important parts of an OC is that it's unique. And uh, General Zoe's uh, uh, pony is not very unique and it doesn't have a cutie mark, which is bad. But the main thing that makes my character unique is the fact that it has uh, crazy eyes like Screwball, being the fact that I am the spawn of Discord and the brother of Screwball. So, when creating an image of myself, I went and got an image of Screwball's eyes off the internet. Now, compared to all these other images that they have online, I specifically chose this one for several reasons. One, many fan drawings don't have like the correct eyes, like the eyes are off. Like, uh, like that one. The eyes are swirly, but they aren't the same, and that's odd. And the other main thing is the fact that we want complete eyes. Uh, so, like, that is one complete eye. But some of these images, even ones from the show, like there you only get pieces of the eyes. In this one, you get only about, like, half the eyes. So picking is, uh, the right uh, design is clear. It is very difficult. And I found this one because the eyes are very accurate and you can see pretty much the entire eye which makes it a very good candidate for working. And for continuing step two, you need to find your cutie mark. Well, I, uh, when l researching for this OC, I watched the Brony Notion, who's one of the greatest Brony tubers ever. I can't, I forgot to subscribe to him. There, I'm subscribed to him. I'm subscribed to, I have two accounts, one that I YouTube on and one that I watch videos on. And I forgot to uh, uh, subscribe of this account. So he's subscribed to twice by me. Oh, yeah. But back on topic, I was watching his video on Discord's cutie mark and the brilliant Countess Mary Rose uh, suggested this would be uh, probably be Discord's cutie mark, and I really like the design because it does show how chaotic uh, Discord really is, and because all the different directions go off, kind of like the elements of harmony, each being color coded, but they're all going away from each other. Plus, it has two added colors, and green isn't really a color; it's pink in the so and red. I don't really. I can't talk about this right now, but yeah, this design uh, perfectly shows what Discourse cutie mark would be. So I took this image, and of course C is cited, and uh, so C gets credit. And so the important part is finding a cutie mark that matches your OC correctly, and that's how I found this one. The third step is uh, editing your assets so that they are correct for your OC. This and for this app, I am using the Aviary app. 
for, for photo editing. Now, how, you may notice that I have two eyes of different colors, one gray, one yellow. And how did I get this image to reflect that? Now, first I went in and I uh, used the lighting effect, and I, oop, wrong controller. <laughs> uh, it's con, I can't remember which one. Oh no, I forgot. Cancel, oh wait. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's color. Now, saturation is an important thing. If you turn down the saturation as in zone here, it makes it go black and white. So now you know how I have gotten my gray eye, and that is how it works. So I've gotten that down, but then you may ask, how did you get the yellow eye? So you go back in, and you repeatedly you put the warmth up, and you can see these become slightly yellowish. You save it, you put the warmth up even more, you save it, you put the warmth up even more, you save it, you put the warmth up even more, and uh, all this time it will get kind of blurry, so my suggestion is every time you put up the warmth, uh, after a few times you also increase the sharpness of the image so that it doesn't get blurry while you're brightening it up. So you go increase the warmth, increase the brightness, until as you can see now, see it's bright yellow, and now you can see how I got to my eye. And so that is how you edit your pieces into what you need them to be. And for step four, you finally need to put all your pieces together. For this, I will be using yet another app called Cut Me In, which is a great uh, app uh, picture put together, or, or what you might call it. So what you do is you get your artist. Now, for this demonstration, I will be showing you how to work it. You pick out your little area that you want to get done. For this demonstration, I will be doing, well, I of course need our face. So, and an unfortunate thing about this thing is it has ads, and actually that was not an ad. It's just I actually do all this editing on my iPad instead of my phone, but this program only let me record my phone. So as you can see, oh my, oops, I, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. But as you can see, I am highlighting every uh, all the parts that I need and then there's a little bit of mistake here up oh, that's way too much uh, hmm erase shrink it down to minimum size and as you can see I am slowly tracing out what I actually need for the image and that should be almost fine let me just cut off a little bit there that's a little bit odd but as you can see I have cut I've made it so that that eye is red. Now I press check mark to, uh, uh, to continue and once I do that as you can see I have the eye cut out of the photo and now with the eye I can apply it to anything I want to apply it to. So I choose, I, I choose to change the background, go back to my images and choose the original image. Now this is where the magic happens. You can shrink down the uh, the thing that you've cut out until you've put it into the right place. Now this is going to be extremely difficult because I've done this on my iPad and even on the iPad it was really difficult to get this eye in where it needs to be. And I'm afraid my fingers are too chubby. Oh wow, where did the image go? Uh oh. Uh, let's grieve that again. But as you can see that's how it worked. Like for example, I could put the eye up on top of here and then just save the image to photos and that's how it will work and so basically I just need to put it on my guy's eye and then you end up with the image that you see me as oh my yes my think my hooves are way too chubby to hit this thing but for that's pretty much oh I almost got it that's pretty much as close as I'm gonna get I would also like to mention that you can use this editing tool in the exact same way to apply the cutie mark that I have, plus any other attachments you may want to add on you can do with said program. Uh, and this is uh, coincidentally the exact same program I use to make nearly all of my thumbnails, especially stranded custom Minecraft survival. Those images are always made in the Cut Me In app. This app is free and it's extremely useful and I highly suggest it. Uh, so this is how, I hope this informed you on how to make a good OC. Uh, it took me over a year to figure out how to do this the way I did it, and I'm just happy to share my knowledge of everyone else. 
So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, a comment, and maybe you can subscribe to join the Axel Empire. If you guys create any OCs using my method, just uh, send me a link. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. I always love seeing what OCs people come up with because they're always super creative. Until next time, I'm Mayhem, coming to you live from the Discord dimension. And goodbye!